red skin. Derogatory. It's just extremely offensive in um, so many ways, and I don't need to explain that. Outdated. Racist. I find that word offensive. A racist name to a, a, a football team. I find it offensive really bad that it's um, a team. There's not a team called Blacks or uh, Crackers or anything like that. Gross. When there were bounty hunters looking for natives, it originated from not even saying, like, wanted dead or alive. Like, you could just bring red skins back for payment. Red skin is interesting um, because we call ourselves the cinnamon people, but red skin turned very ugly. It was like settlers collecting basically scalps and skins of Indians. Offensive, I guess. It's not a good word to use. Most of us in the Native American community um, are pretty lenient towards people, not understanding that that word is not acceptable, um, but we don't, we don't like it. I'm proud to be a red skin. That means I'm native. So for me personally, I never really equated um, bad names with it because um, I'm proud to be a red skin. Profiling. That's just like calling us um, the N-word. It is as just as offensive as the N-word would be or any other nasty, discouraging word that we will say about any group of people. Offensive. Offensive. Whenever you use the term nigger or redskin or whitey or chink, it's definitely not a good thing to use. Has anyone ever called you redskin or anything else insulting? A river nigger. I've been called that all throughout high school. Um, I was like one out of four Native Americans, so I experienced a lot of racism, and I still do. I definitely speak up. I definitely, in a good way, let people know that using offensive words is not something that will help us progress as a nation. 